right, what's goody, what's goody? Codigo Red bringing it back. And right now, I'm I'm feeling good. <laughs> How you feeling, J. Wells? Man, I'm happy, man. I got my man in the building, man. Yeah, I was talking yeah. to him last week. This dude is up and coming. All right. He about to be a legend in the game. Yeah, yeah. But well, he might be a living legend now, you know? Yeah. You never know. <laughs> I like that. So Tell us who we got, Codigo. Five. He just said it himself. Five. 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 <laughs> Five. Five mics in the building. You already know what it is. Dash Radio. What up? Jay Wells, what's good, Jeans? What's up, man? Miss Red, I'm going to get it right, man. Teach me again. How you say it? Codigo Red. Codigo Red. <laughs> Am I saying it right? Codigo Red. Codigo yeah. Red. You're now like rocking it. with Codigo Red. I like that. And I like that. Maybe I should have you say, say my name instead, huh? Whoopsie. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Uh, what's your inspiration for your name, Five? Um, uh, man, there's so many different ones, but uh, my name is Five Mikes. I guess you know what I'm saying, and you know that represent hip hop for those that don't know. It's an old school thing. Get in tune, you know what I mean. And um, I'm just an MC. I'm real lyrical. Come from different backgrounds. That's it. And uh, they've been calling me Five for a long time, so I just kind of stick with me with the rap thing. Five, Five Mikes, though, you're. Where you from? I'm from Brooklyn. I've been uh, based out of Atlanta for the last 12 years, back and forth. Um, you know, I'm still from New York all the time, still doing work in New York, still resident in New York, but living in ATL. And um, as of now, I live in L.A., and I've also been a um, Philadelphia resident for a long time. Shout out to Philly. I know you were telling me last week when we talked, you came out here on the West Coast and said, I ain't leaving. I'm just going to stay out here and put in work. <laughs> Real and shit, you've been on fire, though. Real shit. You I ain't going to lie. It's been a nice nice, uh, nice roller coaster right yeah. now. I'm just uh, trying to get, keep it going. You know what yeah, I mean? Get man. another ride. You know and what I'm saying? That's why I was with uh, Mike Epps the other night. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Shout out to Mike Epps. You know what I mean? Shay Raw in the building. What up? You know what I mean? 99 moves. But, um, yeah, I got some things going on with Mike Epps. Salute the OG. Um... Actually, we have an artist right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the first time I'm saying this, too. So, you know, this is one of them history moments. But uh, we got an artist together. His name is Shay Raw. You know what I mean? From based out of Chicago. Okay. Young cat. You know what I mean? Um, we behind him. We working him. You know what I mean? We got Sebastian Telfield also involved behind him as well. Yeah. So, you know, we just started doing some things. You know, me and Mike got other stuff going on, but I ain't going to get into that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Shout out to Lil Duval. Rich broke in the building, girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you said you used to MC? Yeah, MC. Or do you still MC right now? No, nah, well, I meant like I'm an MC, like the master of the ceremony MC. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know what I mean? Hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> hip hop. So you said hip hop, you used to live in Atlanta, and I know Atlanta is a huge battleground for music. Yes. So tell me, how is that different from being out here in LA? Um, It's a total big difference, but still the same kind of thing, you know what I mean? But Atlanta, each place has its own culture, you know what I'm saying? Like, L.A. has its own culture, and Atlanta has its own culture, New York has its own culture, but I don't... The difference is, I can't really explain. I don't know. But, because there's high levels in each city. So, I, I can't... Right now, I can't tell. I'm still flowing. <laughs> um, I like L.A., you know what I mean? Uh, I agree when they say, you know, the West Side is the best side. Keep it real now. <laughs> so, are you the uh, only East Coast artist on Hustle Gang? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, there's been a few people that, you know, yeah, I'm the only they guy. They came and gone. Yeah, I'm the only guy. But um, I've been yeah. in Atlanta so long. I'm a part of, like, Atlanta culture and hip-hop okay. as well. You know, sometimes when I get around my Atlanta buddies that rap, mm-hmm. we have these big debates. Uh, but the truth is, I've been out there so long. You know what I mean? It's a lot of artists that have came out in the last 10 years. I remember when they first walked in the studio. You yeah. know, Five Mics was there. Yeah. So I've just been putting work out, out there for a long time. Atlanta has shown me a lot of love. I grew in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. I'm just a, like a part. It's a part of me. You know what I mean? So to tell us how that combination with you and Ti came to part. Whoa. Well, um, the, the actual story of how I met Ti is really, really long, mm-hmm. and it's really dramatic and crazy. <laughs> but um, I met Ti uh, 11, 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. I think like 2007, something like that. Um, All Star Weekend, and I met him at the end of the night. I was uh, had a crazy eventful day. I went out there with no money. I was on a run, chasing my dreams. I met a um, Chris Angel, I don't know if you're familiar with Chris Angel, the magician. Yeah. I met Chris Angel, and um, he put me on his TV show. Later on that, that day, I met Ice-T, and then that night, I met T.I. When I met T.I., I snuck into his party. Mm-hmm. I wasn't supposed to be in the party. He tried to throw me out the party, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And somebody was like, nah, he a rapper. And that's how I met him. And then, <laughs> and then um, I thought he'd never be cool with me again. And then um, it was a somebody's birthday party. I was at uh, the Body Tap. Shout out to the Body Taps. That's a closed-down club in Atlanta back in the day, BMF days. 
and I was at the body tap, and T.I. was rapping, and he got off the stage and gave me a five. Like, coming through the crowd, gave me a five. I was like, I was like, hold on. And you know, when T.I. gave you a five, especially at that time, the whole club was like, you're the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm like, oh, this nigga, he know me? I need to find <laughs> this nigga. And I, you know what I mean? I ran to my man, Mac Boney. He brought me to the studio. And, you know, the story goes on and on and on. Yeah. So I know you got a song called Five on it. Tell yes, us sir. about that before we play that for the listeners. Um, shout out to the Bay. You know what I'm saying? And um, The Loonies. He's yeah, inspired you know, from the Loonies. Of course. Yeah. Um, I even reached out to him um, and told him I was sampling the song. Okay. You know, they didn't just say, go ahead, yo, we, we fuck with you five mics. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? But it was all good. And um, shout out to Mr. Fab. That's my boy. Yeah. And, um, you know, we basically put that together. And, um, yeah, I love the Bay. I got family there. You know what I mean? I got a situation there, too. So in the kind, I wanted to pay homage to the Bay. And then my name is Five. And there's no other real five record that I've heard in the last 20 some years mm-hmm. that even had any relevance to me. Yeah. So I figured if I was on sample, I just put out a sample album, by the way. It's crazy. Okay. It's called MMC2. It's doing real well in the streams and all that. But that's the joint off there. So I would just kind of take it with the 90s, mixed it in with the 2018. Mm-hmm. Try not to bore them too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so go ahead and introduce the track before we play it for the listeners. You already know. It's your boy, Five Mics, man. New single, Five One, produced by FKI. Shout out to Source Law Rich. You heard? It's Hustle Gang over everything. Nine Nine Moves in the building. Five? That's for sure a cut. I Ooh. like that. You follow me? I fuck with it. Fuck, let's go. Let's clap it up, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There's not too many remixes All you right. can really, you know. Fuck with. Fuck with. I agree with and that. And that was that was cool. Do you have any other remixes you've done before? That was like. Nah, I'm t- I got a whole album full of this shit. Yo, real gotta, talk. Like, I don't want to be doing it, but I got to keep it real. Mm-hmm. I put the album out like a year ago. Mm-hmm. But the last two years, I've been rapping on old school beat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Songs that you know you want to hear somebody do, but they'd be scared because... They're going to have to pay and this and that, but what about the culture? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I actually like that shit better than the original. Oh, shit. And I'm, right. a, I'm a huge West Coast hip-hop head and all that, but... It's a good record. This one, the beat, the beat is sample, crazy. it took it to another level. The flow is dope. I really the appreciate that, The video is fucking dope. Oh, you like, seen the video? Shit. Yeah, I'm sitting there watching it when we was playing. Oh, shit. See? <laughs> no, you seen the video. We even, there we go. Yeah, yeah so, man. I mean, What's up? shout out to the loonies, but man, I don't know. Yeah, ain't no fake I love think that shit was dope. Yeah, ain't no fake shit. That that shit was hot. Well, I appreciate that 100, percent man. You know, it's, don't, I'm not mad if you like mine's better. It's it's music. Nah, it's I like hip-hop. that shit. <laughs> that shit hard. Shout out to the Bay, man. Five. <laughs> yeah, and I was gonna say real quick, I've been waiting for somebody to take old school beats and then just add their own That's like real. new flavor on it. That's real. I feel like people have a hard time with like mixing where we are at in music today with the old school flows. Yeah, I, I agree and. Some of it is because it's difficult because you got to take a chance with the record. It's already kind of hard, like you said, right? So niggas don't want to do that and then do it. And niggas, but that's not it. Yeah. Then it's like, oh, man. So rappers don't even want to take certain challenges. Mm-hmm. But I'm just creating. I don't care. Yeah. If I make a whack one, load up the next one, nigga. You know what I mean? That's yeah. what we do. We make music, man. I feel like rappers kind of stab themselves in the foot when they start thinking too much when they make albums. Like they that's start thinking, I got to make a hit. I got to make a hit. Yeah. Instead of just putting out the shit you love. Ah, uh, naturally, one of them shits. Are you is a vegan? A nah. Are oh, you talking like a vegan, sir? <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real though, you on, on some real that. I don't know what that's about. Like yeah. even the overdoing the hit shit. I don't yeah. do that no more. But I don't yeah. know. It took me a long time to be around a lot of legends. Yeah. To see certain formulas, mm-hmm. to realize that I, I refuse to wake up at like seven thirty and like get a pen and like. I'm going to make me a song. Like, I don't do that. Yeah. Like, I got to be feeling that shit. The beat got to be hot. Yeah. And then when it happens like this, it only takes a few minutes to formulate, you know, something great. You're not forcing it, you know? That's what's up. Are you a vegan yourself? No, nah, nah, I'm not a vegan, vegan, but I don't eat beef or pork. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck on chicken right now. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to Popeyes. <laughs> I heard they put pork in the skin. Did you hear that? What? Yeah, they put the... Because they use the lard, and the lard got the pork, and you... You just contaminate yourself every time you eat a... All right, forget it, man. I'm disappointed. <laughs> I, I'm knew, just I knew something was off because I've, I've been it eating it a few good. times It shit tastes lately. like bacon sometimes. Think about it. Yeah. That chicken on Popeye's, that skin? Come on, son. They could just sell me a bag of skin sometime. I'm, like, I'm good, son. Let me get a bag of skin. <laughs> the skin does be in it. But uh, real quick, tell us what you're working on right now. Right now, I'm working with my boy Chef Boy Bones. You know what I mean? Shout out to my nigga Wacko. You know what I'm saying? And um, I got a project coming out. My man Shay Raw, his album's going to come out on EP. 
You know what I'm saying? We got singles dropping on him. And like I said, we got the label with Mike Epps. You know what I'm saying? And um, definitely working on my bro Sebastian Telfair's album. He releasing, you know what I mean? His first time coming out. And um, we going to do it big. I got an album coming out in October. Mm-hmm. Also, I want to announce something. Shout out to Kalkana. Yeah. Um, I got a deal with Kalkana going on. We in the works right now. Okay. I actually meet up with him today at 5 o'clock. That's what's up. You might be seeing five mics and a lot of Kalkana like every day. You know what I'm saying? Shit that you ain't seen yet. Seen things you miss. I might have it on. You know what I mean? And um, that's what we're doing. I got a single also called Call Canal, too. So. Yeah. Okay. And I see you we know. got Sebastian in the building. Yeah, Bash you know in the saying? building. Bash, you want to highlight the folks one time? Mic. You know, he big time. You got to call his people. You good? <laughs> Yo. I ain't know they had the clearance. He good. All right. All right. C-I-B-K, stand up. Y'all already know what it is. My yeah, yeah. Bash, y'all making me laugh. I went pro from the door just to show my crap. You dig? Oopsie. Five mics, we in the building. Yeah. I ain't not moves, hustle game. Yeah. Facts, facts. That's what's up. That's that fire, man. Yeah, you so, know. you know, I like I like everything y'all doing, man. You know what I'm saying? You're creating your own lane. You ain't trying to follow other motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And then I like the fact that you're on a big label like Hustle Gang, but yeah. you're standing out. Yeah, well. It's easy to get. It's hard. Part it's, of some shit it's hard to. Big, um, you know? One thing, first of all, shout out to the whole Grand Hustle. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. T.I., you know what I mean? Doug, what up? You know what I mean? Jason Jeter, you know what I mean? Mark Jackson was popping. Clay, everybody was good. But the thing is, though, Shout out my nigga James too. He's doing real good with the Hustle Gang clothing line. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's yeah, doing pretty good. Too, yeah. yeah, fire. But um, the thing is with Hustle Gang, you have to really hustle. That, I mean, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. So it's like the block. Like if one nigga moving some packs more, you know, you could just you could get <laughs> money with me, or you know what yeah. I'm saying. Try to knock me off the block, but we ain't gonna do that. Cause we a team, so we all just gonna get money together. It don't matter if whoever buzz in, who got, I'm with them. I don't care who it is. If they got a Hustle Gang chain on shirt. Mm-hmm. Whatever hustle gang hat, I'm with it. You know, that's what's up. but so t- it's been a long grind, man. For real though, yeah. long, that's that's what I was gonna tell you about the hustle gang thing. Mm-hmm. This ain't come, you know, wake up, Ti, give you a million dollars, you on TV. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if y'all know Ti. Like you gotta really get out here and grind, and then he'll work with you and do some big things. But it's not the hand, you know, it's not the handout session over here. You gotta really get it. You know? That's what's up. So tell everybody where they can find you on social media before we have you get out of here. And we gonna play Ain't Stressing. That's my shit too. Oh man. shit! Yo, so first of all, it's five mics number five I V E underscore M I C S. Five I V E underscore M I C S. That's on everything. You heard? On all media platforms. Um, shout out Rubicon Entertainment. You already know what it is. Lil Duval. But Lil Duval's my bro. You know what I mean? Shout yeah. out to you know Smile Bitch, Snoop, everybody. You know what I mean? Ball Greasy. But we got this single that we we put out. Mm-hmm. It was doing good when it came out. But since Duval didn't had the smile, bitch, and all that, <laughs> we up out of here. You heard? It's doing streaming crazy right now. So you know what I mean? Right now we got a hit. You know what I mean? Shout out to Dope Boy Rob. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So what we're going to do is we're going to have him get out of here, but we're going to, um, before we go to our next guest, we about to bump that. Ain't stressing. You listen to The Fix on Dash Talk X. Bye.